Well, it's an honor to be here. Please turn back around and keep eating. I'm a school principal with 2,400 kids. I yak at my kids while they eat all the time. That's the only time they can pay more attention. So keep eating, please. But anyway, uh, rarely, rarely, let me go back to here for a minute. So rarely do principals, and they call us the trench diggers, have opportunities to share examples of how, you know, change perspectives can actually open a lot of quick opportunities to come up with great ideas to solve problems. Now, a lot of you probably heard that a lot of education initiatives about turning around schools, and when they turn around the schools, they said, get rid of the principles. <laughs> True, it is a perspective out there. And yes, many of my colleagues who started with me teaching in 1968 or so, especially for big districts like Los Angeles Unified School District, they retired. State law, 55, I can pack it up, right? Now, look at me. <clears throat> How old you think I am? <laughs> Come on, give me a number. 25, 25 higher. Come on, come on. Like, what, a 55? Higher. 65, give him a dollar, okay? Lisa, I'm 65. Look pretty good, huh? Yeah. A little, hey, 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 folks. A little ginseng tea, right? Honestly, sometimes some snack soup but no artificial body part, <laughs> okay? And we are going strong. So those of us who are still going strong and loving it is because we trust that we have the knowledge base to create something new, something innovative, something absolutely miraculous for kids and our community. So today, this morning, within this next half an hour, I would like to give you some real life examples in the five major areas that principles in our leadership role is within our leadership domain, okay? So what are the five? Human capital, yes, you agree? Big time. Curriculum and instruction, no brainer, right? Fiscal resources, where's the money? <laughs> Partnership and collaboration, that's a fourth. And the fifth one, definitely the school culture. Okay, so those are the examples. So, first of all, no, keep eating, keep eating, don't worry. You wanna turn around and hold your plate and eat like she does? Perfect, <laughs> absolutely perfect. Uh, you cannot watch, oh, you gotta watch me because Amy said no PowerPoint. Okay, and I follow the rules. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> All right, human capital. Hey, those of us in 41 years, teachers, right, and coordinators, assistant principal, district coordinator, principal, 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 definitely have a lot of opportunity to interact with people. Yes? So, here is the perspective. Here was the perspective. Is like Lisa say, control and command, right? So here we are. We walk those lines. I know all the rules and regulations. I know all the education codes. Yes? I want to make sure all the state and district policy can follow. I keep walking. I have seven unions on my site. Ooh. Everybody belongs to union, including myself. And I know all the articles, and I know all the sections, and all the different rules, so to cover my... <laughs> Thank you. So that's how I walk the line. All right, meanwhile, within this box, at that time, I have 36 teachers. 1990, L.A., Pacoima, mile and a half from the Roddy King beating. 100% minority, 100% free and reduced lunch. <coughs> okay, 36 teachers. 
have no teaching credential. Well, what's your experience interacting with kids? They will say, you know what? I was assistant manager of Burger King. That's good. Then the other half will say, Ivan, I have two years, two months, two hours, two seconds to retire. I've seen you, principal, eight of you come and go within four years. Nothing get changed. So meanwhile, try to resuscitate the barely breathing, right? And try to accelerate the countdown of those who retire on the job. Voila. Now, once in a while, you take a look, oh my God, what a great, talented teacher, but no time to support him or her. And in fact, you want to do what? Take the kids down to St. Louis Obispo? Oh yeah, but cannot do it. Okay, parents, you want to do what? Yeah, but cannot do that. Then, of course, meanwhile, there are quite a few lemons that we have to dance with, right? You know, dance of the lemons. <laughs> In schools like mine, <clears throat> where the parents are not very assertive, you know, where parents did not demand, where parents are kind of so happy that they can cross the border and came to the United States. They don't question. So there will be, quote, not so hot folks that get placed into my box, right? My little box. And we just keep dancing with the lemons. And I usually don't trade lemons because I'd rather keep my own lemon. Because if I trade them, I will get another one. I don't want to do that. OK. Now, yeah. Definitely human capital, we're talking about human capital. Well, I can counsel them out, right? Yeah, you know, writing up is crazy. I will send that person to my best friend next door. No, no, no. And then she sent me a worse lemon. No, 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 no. Okay, so I took Mr. D with my union chair. You know, it's a collaboration. You know, we're like improv, you know, we do that. We took him to Las Vegas. After four martinis and a night show, <laughs> right? And let him see the new development in the desert where he can buy a beautiful home for one fifth of the house he can sell in LA. Yes? Oh, how wonderful. And on the way back, he signed his retirement. Bingo, we got it. Right? Another young man, oh my God, so sweetheart, you know, can be something, can be an asset, but not in teaching, in the inner city with the little kids. So, after four margaritas, <laughs> along with his parents, come on, you know, and we managed to get him a one-way ticket to Beijing, China, to teach adults English and he's thoroughly happy still communicated with Mr. G. Okay, so that's how we do it. Okay, now, now 1993, converting the failing school into a charter. <gasps> do I see the box? Am I gonna walk the line of this box just like I did before? That's no point. What we see then, we begin to see circles. You know, circles. You know, like this, because you have to surround the wagon. You run, boy, whoop. We see the circles. Because now human capital is different. It's just like the wheel of your tire. You have to take it to the store for alignment. <gasps> wow, how interesting alignment. Alignment with that center centers the student achievement, student outcome. So school is no longer a place where the kids are here watching adults work. Okay? Now, the alignment for human capital is you're looking at student achievement death center and how the human capital must align to protect the wagons, right? Okay, so definitely the strategy started 
although we converted in 1993, it took until 1997 with the help of the consortium for public policy research and education, you know, Penn, U, Stanford, all these researchers say, look, would you like to look at a new system? So the system is first, recruit talents, even doing something that's not ordinary through alternative credentialing. Charter schools can't certify teachers, I do. I do. And place the teachers in strategic position of this cover wagon trail, not by seniority, okay? I mean, if you are one that won't smile, won't even scoop down, and you want to teach kindergarten? Are you kidding me? <laughs> right? So, very different. And put them in teams where the belly breathing, remember? <gasps> For Burger King, belly breathing. <laughs> and the one that's counting, but the one who's counting has double master degrees, just felt that she was not appreciated, right? Oh, he can bring up the fire again. And one kind of in the middle of the row, with my finger crossed, that as soon as that person got his or her credential, will not opt out of the inner city school. So, high, medium, great breathing, got it? Okay, so team them. And then, of course, this is very important to make sure that we further develop those talents. So if I have a teacher, social studies teacher, oh my god, I need a science teacher, okay? Nobody wants to come to inner city for science, but I found out that, uh-uh, there's an interest. Look at his high school resume. Look at his high school grades. 16 units, 12 units in science or biology, great. We'll pay for you. Go back and get a supplemental in science and bump up your salary. Look for all the possible hidden talent, a PE teacher. But came from China. Can also teach Mandarin Chinese. If we can find some way to kind of slap that piece of paper for her, right? Okay, slap, I know. <laughs> now, then, however, we need to get out of this box. We gotta get out of this box to make sure that there will be good objective tool to assist the teachers to find out what developmental level they are at. Not every teacher is at the same level. We talk about kids learn differently, come on, adults too. So, therefore, getting this instrument developed totally very different from the traditional yes, no, satisfactory, yes, no, need to improve. Now is very clear. Four sets of rubrics from need to improve to basic to proficient to exemplary. And over the domain of content planning, do you know where your kids are? Are you going for high level thinking? Are you engaging your kids? If not, based on the results, very, very precise PD will be offered. And not everybody sitting in the same room listening to the same thing. Now, to add on that, and I know it's controversial, but we have done it since 1997 through voluntary base. But right now, everybody's on it. Myself, the first one. Okay, include your support staff, psychologist, counselor, nurse, cafeteria manager, right, custodian. Everybody that touched the kids are on a peer review and assistance system plus the PD that come with it. Now, does money come with it? Oh yeah, you bet. Besides the base pay, we put about another 15 to 18% of money based on knowledge and skill, not just scores yet, knowledge and skill of those four domains I talk about, yeah, they're pretty much Charlotte Danielson's domain. After that, we want to help everybody to get to the proficient. Remember barely breathing and sitting here, right? But my counting two years, two months, want the barely breathing to be his legacy. So he is pushing for the team to skewer that bell curve, up, up, 
in a way into the exemplary. No one has to compete. It's not mere pay. It's strictly performance pay. Then later on, we added a couple of thousand to peg against the test scores. Yes, but not individual, the whole school, the whole school. I get 2,000. The brand new teacher get 2,000. It is not I get a percent, and the brand new teacher barely breathing only get a percent. His percent can't even buy hamburger. My percent can go on a cruise, right? We can do that. OK, so we even have custodian. They call us, Dr. Chan. What is our CST in the summer? They also get a parade share. So everybody is rolling the boat, row, row, row your boat, da, 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 right? And down to watch the ocean. OK, so we instituted that. In addition, what else that we aligned is the fact that we need to create a career ladder where the teachers can go from elementary to middle, you know, middle down to preschool, preschool go to the high school, go into counseling, go, nobody has to leave the classroom to go into administration just to make a little bit more money. So they become decision makers. All right, so now you got this circular thing now? Change perspective. What happened is the change perspective allow this teamwork allow all hands on deck, and when internal accountability knocks, unlike the external accountability, right? In the old days, external accountability knocks, nobody home. <laughs> now, internal accountability knocks, we make sure someone in that circle will answer. Okay, now, then now you say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't you say there's seven unions? How the heck you get away with this? We have, it's historical, 1993, June 30th, we hammer out a one page, one page contract. AF, LCI will sign on, United Teacher of Los Angeles sign on, Local 99. Everybody signed on except my union, okay? The Ministry Union will not sign on. One page, one page by one page contract. Now, what happened is it stated that as long as salary, benefits, working conditions is equal or better, all the contract term will supplicate to our charter term. Now, of course, now the thinking. Granted, yes, you have this circular alignment, but you've got to figure out some way on decision making and governance and the ownership and the buy-in. So we form three decision-making boards or committees. Curriculum and instruction, set, adopt the materials, since California has adoption, and look at how we do assessment, and also PD, et cetera, because curriculum and instruction is the top of this circle. Then business and operation will deal with personnel, facilities, health benefits, and partnership, the third governing committee would deal with working with partners, student uniform, discipline, and homeschool compact. Now, who are in these committees? Half staff, half community and parents. So, hmm, if you are with the union, who are you gonna bargain with? Not me, right? Not me, there's no board. You bargain with your own members. Can't, and your members are very happy. They're happy making the decisions. They're happy that the school is in a circular move instead of in the box. So, what happened then, now we have 118 teachers, and if you ask me, well, what percent is really dismissal after all the great due process and intervention? 3% is the max. But the good news is, those, remember, barely breathing? And my two year, two months, many of them stayed on because they're born again. Born again, okay. 80% of those referred for intervention rise to the top, okay? So 80% of them really make it to the occasion. 
So with that, the first example I'm showing you is that we managed to reprofessionalize teaching. We light the fire, and as you share power, we gain power. Okay, now, second example. What domain is the second one that you think I'm going to talk about? I'm checking. What's your immediate recall? Correct? Is he right? Is he right? Yeah? So, so, huh? I right, stay with you, okay? Curriculum and instruction. Curriculum and instruction is the core. Okay, so, yeah, we get our credentials. I, I managed to get all kinds of credentials. Even my doctorate degree from John Goodlatte. UCLA, right? Madeline Hunter, my goodness. Don't I supposed to know all of this? Well, but in the real world, in terms of perspective, is we're constantly dealing with this. The universities will blame the high school because the kids are not prepared. The high school blame whom? The middle school, the junior high. The middle school blame whom? The elementary. The elementary blame whom? And the parents blame whom? Okay, well, voila. So, the divisiveness in those kind of perspectives has always been there. Now, then, how can we change that? How can we say, look, we can build a pipeline of post-secondary education from the very base up, okay? Up like this, where in school readiness and preschool, we definitely have to provide the literacy and numeracy and the socialization. Get to the elementary, especially, we have 800 English learners, okay? More than anybody put together in many schools. How we accelerate the transition of English learning and the academic English so that they can have universal access. And then in middle school, the content, the content and the study skill and the technology literacy. And to the high school now with international studies integrating the global issues into the curricular area, in addition, world languages, and at a career technology in nursing as well as waste management. How can we, we can do this, go straight up. If we, how we do that is if we go straight up, that means we have to spiral down the skills. We got to map back everything. If eighth grade algebra, the kids have problem, then where the heck they supposed to learn about variables. Remember, we talk about that? Variables, so we got to map back. So, building this pyramid of preschool all the way to 14th has allowed us to provide a much more coherent instructional program and mainly using the data for the students that you map up and down, fluid, but coherent, with a long-term 14 years of relationship with families. Wow. I know some parents give me a hard time looking at me and saying, honey, you have 14 more years with me, okay? <laughs> so let's work with each other. Okay. So really, that change of perspective allowed me to tell you a story about two brothers. It's LA Time front page. Jose and Victor. Jose was shot. Boom, point blank. Gang related graduated from our elementary, went on to a neighborhood, middle school, dropped out. We raised money to bury him. Jose died at age 13. Yet, his youngest brother, Victor, we call him Dr. Guerra, Victor, just graduated from our high school, now that we have scaled up, Yes, finish all the A through G, follow the rules. Three languages fluent, English, Spanish, and Mandarin Chinese, which is offered in our school, everybody takes them. Asia Society, Tony Jackson's group, took him to China for the whole summer. Mm -hmm. And he entered in UC San Diego, did not make it to Princeton, though he was interviewed. UC San Diego as a junior, and he just turned 16. You see, he has a full-blown AA degree. 
earning on site with us. And we took him to Columbia just a few months ago. We are eyeing Columbia for his graduate school in philosophy. And he may want to come back and teach. So that's the difference. Change perspective, change lives. Now, let's get to the third example. Third example, we have to talk about finance, money. Okay. Here, Ooh. takes money to run a school, yes? You agree? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I had no idea, even starting in 68, being an administrator all the way, I had no idea how much it costs to run a school, no clue. But one thing I know, that I have to figure that out, okay? By now, you probably notice that I have a little accent. Do I speak with an accent? <laughs> Pero cuando yo hablo de español, no hay problema, okay? Sin ningún acento en chino. What country do you think I came from? Huh? Donde? China. China. I was 17. $100 in my pocket. No family. 32 girls. Big, in a big cargo bin. Underneath, down, 19 days sailing. I was 17. Remember that? When I was 17, <laughs> it was a very tough, thank you. It was a very tough year. Okay. So, I remember walking the street of San Francisco. I like to be cool. I would say, people would say, Yvonne, what's up? Guess what I did? I look up. <laughs> nothing. 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 No hope. No dreams. Nothing. 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 OK. Yet meanwhile, you know, now, with that changed perspective, after taking over the finance of the school, I know that we must create an evergreen, <laughs> an evergreen system, OK? Now, under this evergreen system, we need to make sure there's enough finance to sustain, and we have to be self-reliant. So therefore, for every dollar we spend, my dear students, we have to put you first. We have to say, for every dollar you spend, committees, what does it do for kids? And with that, definitely pull back what we call waste. No more non-public school placement for students with disabilities. At $40,000, they come back, homeschool, and our home, we the homeschool. Liability insurance, workman's comp, what do you mean? Come on, we pay ourselves. You can't go on workman's comp, you break your leg, fix it, and come back. Okay, <laughs> so with that, plus add to that, people say, well, you do have the business sense. Well, I don't know. I'm not a business person, but I know how to use 1-800 and send me your proposal. Yeah, check in the website to find out what Better Business Bureau talks say about you. I can blob, I can tweak to find out how good you are. So you want my business? Sell me, sell me. So at this moment, the result is from the point when we converted from a charter, when I had to mortgage my house, without telling my husband, but. <laughs> And the teachers, custodian, they did not take the payroll for a month. To now, we have a fixed assets of $60 million on quite a few blocks of real estate and $20 million in the bank. Ooh, okay, having said that, so it's possible. So what the message is, yes, being an instructional leader is important, the most important. However, don't be afraid to talk dollars and cents. We do have the knowledge to do that. Okay, quickly, the last two examples is easy because now we are talking about the need to enlarge the circle of responsibilities. That means a partnership. We cannot do it alone. We got to have 
partners. Now, in the traditional world, we have what we call one year or two year stands. We have partners, but one friend runs out, no more, right? We have e-harmonies that not always work, okay? <laughs> we don't get married. So how the heck you can create this big circle why then your circle of responsibility, okay? With the dirt, the earth, the sun, and the moon, and the rain to nurture that community. How the heck you do that? So what we were able to do then was to call, jo join all the dots of human services. Health clinic on site. We bury three kids on site. Three kids because of lack of health care. So in collaboration with the county and private funding, Blue Cross, all that, there's a health clinic. There's drug rehab next door. There's unemployment office next door. There's university and so forth. And so another example, you will say that small businesses. In my community, there's no bonds market, no movie theater. I have adult movies, I have junk yards, I have a lot of 7-Eleven, I have liquor stores. So how can the adult video movie place help to be part of that circle? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Because they put up all of these big posters of Las Vegas showgirl. Because in a high poverty area, people do go to Las Vegas more than you do because that's where they want to take the big bucks if they can. So my kids always do something, so they will call me, Dr. Chan, your students put extra body parts on my poster. So however, however, through this enlarging the circle, they were able to provide a map from our community to Las Vegas through either Edwards Air Force Base or Mojave Desert and figure out what will be the fastest way to go. And nobody ever marked that up. So therefore, it is possible to create this wider circle. And last of all, the last one here is culture now. Culture, we always think of examples. We always think of activities. We have a Big fundraising, everybody clap, 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 right? We have a big festival, everybody dance, 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 right? And we have this big community cleanup, everybody, ping, ping, ping. At the end, just like you try to create a ripple effect when the lake is frozen, not possible. So, however, in what we have tried to do is to create what we call not just a little stars, but a constellation of stars through the students' decision-making body, through the teachers, through the community to create this entire culture that sustains. So let me end by thanking the Institute for bringing us together. And did I find gold? I came to the United States to look for gold, you know, right? <laughs> we call it Gold Mountain here, yes? Did I find gold? Found more than gold. It's through public education that provide the equalizing force. I found compassion for kids, passion for teaching, the guts to do something different, always proceed until apprehended, <laughs> and also the energy to take everybody through. So. With you, these two characters, learn Chinese, you know, don't think you get out of this room without learning Chinese. What is this? Okay. How many words is the English word opportunity? How many words? One. Oportunidad solamente cuantos palabras? Uno, right? Opportunity. But why Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese have two? What the heck does two come from? The first one, I know you're laughing already, see? See how engaging they are. So the first meaning, uh, uh, danger, you see that? Do you see that? It's like a feet, somebody kicking you in the behind. And it's okay. When someone kick you in the behind, you know you're in front, you're ahead. Okay. Now, the second character, buy sells airplane, fly high.
fly high, okay? So opportunity, no risk, you don't fly anywhere. So please, ladies and gentlemen, always look for the invisible so you can do the impossible. In public education, we don't deal with good cards. Always play the bad hand well. So, therefore, please trust that you have the knowledge base to create something new, something exciting, something miraculous for kids. And like the little engine, everybody, chaka chaka, choo choo, and Merry Christmas. Thank you.